When I started 12 years ago, my first day in real estate, I got out of the car. I parked it two blocks away from my house because I was embarrassed to knock on my neighbor's door. I parked my car and it wasn't wrapped with my face on it. It was the same 2010 Camry that I'm in today. I got out of the car and I just started knocking every single door. And I said, hi, I'm Brian. I work at Century 21. I had no clue what I was doing, but I had my white V-neck shirt on and my red lacrosse shorts. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. So, and then, you know, you fast forward a few years later, I realized that I had to get like a, a stable job that wasn't just worked in the summer. So I looked around and my brother and all his friends were making really good money being deli clerks. So I said, I could do this. And I'm like 13, 14 years old. So I go into Fox's Deli, which was the deli that my brother worked at. I looked in there, I hung out there like 15 minutes. I saw what my brother was doing. I'm like, I could do this, cut some cold cuts, be nice to some people. And I noticed that my brother's wearing a white V-neck t-shirt and red lacrosse shorts. And then I looked at a few other of the servers. They all had white V-necks and they all had shorts on. So I said, okay, this is what deli clerks wear. So I went to the next town over and I saw a deli and I walked in and I said, okay, uh, is the owner here? I'd like to apply for a job. And they said, yeah, absolutely. The owner's name is Dennis. And the name of the deli was Causeway Deli. He's like, Dennis is downstairs. I said, great. So I moved through the kitchen. I kind of walk around these steps. I go all the way down to the basement. And there's this guy, he's sitting behind a desk. He's a bald guy like me, really nice and trim. His beard was all unshaven. And he was wearing red lacrosse shorts and a white V-neck. So I'm like, oh, I got this. I'm wearing the outfit. I look like a deli clerk. So I said, listen, I'd like to apply for the job. He said, great, how much experience do you have? I said, I have plenty of experience, which I had no experience. And uh, he said, well, what are you looking to get paid an hour? My brother at this time was making $9 an hour. So I said, 10. He said, okay, you're hired. Next thing I know, I was a deli clerk. I thought it was a great job because I figured that, hey, listen, I can feed myself, free food, plus I get to hang out with people and talk to people. The deli really is where it all started because I love the early shift. The early shift was the 4.30 shift. And I would basically work from 4.30 to like 1.30. And then by the time all my friends were getting up, I was already done for the day, which was great. Because then it allowed me to still have a, a social life and still run around. One day I'm in the deli and the phone rings. So I pick it up and I say, Causeway Deli here, Brian. And this woman just starts talking. She's like, I I'm looking for a bartender. And I'm like, I'm sorry, lady, I don't think you heard me, but this is a, a deli, this is Causeway Deli. She's like, no, no, I'm looking for Causeway Catering. I need a bartender for July 5th. So I said, you know what, hold on. Let me connect you to the catering department. So I put her on hold, I run around the corner, I pick up the phone and I say, oh, this is the catering department, Brian here, how can I help you? She's like, we're looking for a bartender. I said, great, okay, how much are you looking to spend? She said about $150. I said, excellent, what are you looking for that bartender? She said, well, the bartender needs to be able to make drinks, they gotta clean up, they gotta do this. I said, no problem, I took down her phone number, I took down her address, I said, I'm gonna have someone there. As soon as I hung up the phone, I called one of my friends, Sean. I said, Sean, how would you like the bartender make $100? He said, absolutely, I'd love to do that. And next thing you know, I said, great, I sent Sean there, he made 100, Brian made 50, and that was another time that I said, I'm different. I just didn't feel like everybody else. 